Here's a quick update on the small city garden. How is it going along? We've had all the lettuce out. It's been a little while since you've seen an update. But I've just been letting things grow. Strawberries, chard. We've cut that back multiple times. It's coming back for seeding. A couple of marigolds you saw before. They're f in flower. Uh, this is the dill, I think. Small, nice flowers. Marigold. And again, marigold here. Spring onions. And the main uh, events have been, we've had a lot of green beans, I'll show you those in a second. Roses have flowered, marigold in the bottom and a climbing rose on top. So everything seems to be doing nicely. We've not had the best summer, so that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, we've had loads of zucchinis. You can see there's a couple more just being made. And some plants have done better than others. But you can see there's some nice bigger sizes here. You don't want to let them go too big because then they'll get to a point where they're just going to be ginormous and they're not going to be as nice. Well, it depends if you're eating them as marrows or zucchinis. You see another one here. And we've had loads of green beans. Every day, handful of pickings from the multiple bushes. And you can see the sunflowers are doing okay down here. That's got nothing in it at the moment. We've had loads of bee peas as well. Just here, you can see. You just pick them off when they're young. Marigolds in the back, sunflowers, peas, and as you continue, we just kept the other flower border this time. Another zucchini here. And there's not been as much activity on this one because we've not had as much sun. Another couple of sunflowers and peas together. As you move around. Give you a quick view. Nothing much going on in the zucchini. The apples didn't do that well this year. Small apples. And you can see we had the sweet peas going in between. Hide ranges turned really well. That's a cut off the mother plant. I'll do all of this side and I'll come back around to the side. Plum tree is doing nice and healthy, you can see the size of it getting bigger and bigger. Marigolds in the bottom, roses, and that was a nice flower this year. Hebe, like a bush type plant. We've put the leeks down there, some more zucchinis going on here. But you notice if it's not sunny, you don't get as many zucchinis, so there's less and smaller zucchinis there. More uh, leeks. We've got a nice run from the flower plant that I just seeded from whatever. The broad beans are all finished. Chard. I've cut this back multiple times and it keeps coming back. So if you look down here, look, each one of those is a cut. So three times at least and it keeps coming back. So we've now had to reseed those. Bottle brush is looking a bit tired. And coming back to the corner. Let me do a little this side so the compost isn't there. Got a big height range up there. Remember here we put peas, beans as well. So you'll see we're getting like a, a good healthy another day on those. Those will be a giant almost. I'll show you some of the ones we picked which I didn't see and they were hidden and they worked out being really big. You don't really want them that big. All the puppies did their thing. So you can see here this is the sort of size every day we're pulling off and they get giant almost. Just to show you there, that's too big, we don't want them that big. Ideal size is something like that because you can cut them and freeze them for next year. But yeah, there's always going to be a few that get left behind. Puppies. Marigolds down here. And that's another bucket of camellia and marigolds. I'll give you the view from the usual spot and I'll also show you inside because we have got some activity inside. So inside you'll see that is a cucumber, the English style cucumbers. And we're getting little cucumbers popping up everywhere. And it's going up high. 
these are all grown from seed and you can see as we come around tomatoes another cucumber over here which just needs to be helped along and the fig it looks like it might be ready soon actually should we pick that now and check tomatoes that was inside but it wasn't getting as much light so we brought it outside we've got a calamondin orange plant here and then lots of money plants up here so cuttings of cuttings that grew so overall it's doing good it's doing well this is a quick look at the small uk city garden plum tree is doing nicely Hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can grow in a small city garden. Check out the next video in this playlist.